and, 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 and again, key point because ultimately, being selfish beings, we want to be happy. Yeah. We want to, you know, um, have all our needs met. And if we can, our wants. But until you realise that you have to focus more on the giving than the receiving. That's biblical as well, by the way. It's better to, to give um, than it is to receive. And until you realise and adopt that method or that approach... Will you truly understand what a relationship is really about? Now, this 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 applies to a marriage. This applies to yeah. you know re any relationship. Any relationship. You, you see, have. if you're in it for any any self gain or any forget uh, it, forget it, forget it. There's no point. Just forget it. Yeah. Just to forget it, um, because you will soon realize, or one party will soon realize that hold up. They're losing a lot more than they're actually receiving. Mm. Now that's an interesting point. So to cut you, mm. you said, "I want to love. I want to share or or make make Maria happy." Yeah. So using you as an example, mm. hypothetical again, people, <laughs> um, <laughs> just in case they get it wrong, you know, but. Um, what I've been doing for you is this. Mm. Haven't I been laying back and giving you my body? Mm. But actually, I think sometimes people are loving their own way. Yeah. And so, for you to say that you've been lying there and taking it or giving it mm. means that you're loving me. And that's a yes or no. You have to be careful. Right, right? The reason right, why right. I say this is this. Mm -hmm. We have to love them the way that they want to be loved as well. Oh, wow. So if you're going to be wow. intimate in a relationship, you can't really do it just by turning up mm. and being there mm. in the flesh. You've got to be there also emotionally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah, means yeah. that I, and I have to meet you as well. Mm. Um, Winnie and I have had to learn how to make love. It's taken time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had to learn how to yeah, be yeah, yeah. selfless. But wow. I do, I am selfish in that I want to please her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> And I want pleasure too, mm. so I'm selfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I recognise that it cannot work. Yes. Unless I say to myself, what does she like? Mm. So I think that selfishness has always got a bad, con a negative connotation. Mm. But it is necessary. Right. Yeah. Yeah, go on, go on. Right. No, and it is. It's. Um, and I'm going slightly off topic mm -hmm. just by giving this example. Married for for ten years now, um, and for me. Birthdays are not a big thing. It's not focus, eh? it's, it's, not, it's not a big thing in it. It's just, you know, I'm grateful for life and I'm grateful that, like, you know. I'm here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm not here. a big thing, not a big thing. Okay. Now, 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 yeah. the flip side of that is Maria loves birthdays. No, 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 no. The way you said it, the way you said it. She doesn't love birthdays, it's everything. So on that day, I have to make a fuss. Now, now for a couple of years, a few years, if I'm honest, a few years, I neglected this. Yeah. I'm like, it's a birthday. Yeah, yeah. give thanks. Mm -hmm. Not realizing, not realizing how it was impacting her. Now, now, <laughs> women are very resilient. And because of this, men take that for granted. Wow. I acknowledge that. Wow. After years. Yeah. Of being married. I realize. Can I just ask a quick question? Uh -oh. Did she ever tell you that she wasn't happy with the way how you responded or the way how you handled her on her birthday? <laughs> yes. He, yes. Yes, 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 she did. Yes, she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you hear it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What she was telling you, did you hear it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I heard it loud and clear. Yeah. loud and clear. But however, for me personally, what's the big deal? Aha. Uh -huh. Like, like you heard, but you weren't listening. Come on, like, what's the big deal? Like, uh, you heard, you heard, but you didn't, you didn't listen. Eh? Man, I just didn't, it, it yeah. didn't register. Yeah, didn't register. Mm -hmm. Now, now, if I think back now, growing up, me growing up, birthdays weren't a big thing, but for her, they were a big thing. Mm. So now she's married. Now we're married. Um, she's expecting, you know, when, and 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 and, it, and it's a big thing, by the way. <laughs> no, no, when, when I say it's a big thing. <laughs> It's a major thing. This is deep. I mean, it changes her mood. Everything. 
for the year. No, 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 no. That's <laughs> till next birthday. You got problems. <laughs> <laughs> to the point where she got to the point where she never looked forward. She never looked forward wow. to her birthdays. From the point of yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. you don't really, you don't really see, you don't really appreciate that it's my birthday. Mm. It's not that I didn't appreciate it was a birthday, it's just not a big thing to me. Yeah. Mm. But again, it goes back to mm. your 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 own history. Yeah. And I yeah. think and this right. plays a massive part. For me, I, I, my birthday is very important. I mm. love my birthday. <laughs> the fact, no, do you know why? Because the fact that you've managed to make it another year yeah. through all the trials and hurdles and yeah, tribulations yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, matrix moves and mm. you know, it's hard. And yeah, you know, when you I get hate. to you know, a you know, a birthday. Mm. You want to you want to be made to you know made a fuss of yeah, and, yeah. you know to to enjoy the day. <laughs> I'm really smiling. Sorry. <laughs> That's right. When was your birthday last? January. So oh, my okay. birthday and that was my fortieth. So my fortieth wow. birth my, my last so birthday. So you celebrated that? What? I yeah, yeah. I'm, still, I'm still in celebration mode for the year. I said I'm I'm celebrating the for the year. whole of two thousand and eighteen. Yeah. Wow. Just little 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 things, sure. just you know. I think that, you know, again, you have to learn to celebrate yourself as well. But, um, and it's not no about, doubt. like, what people can give you. Because yeah. that's not what it's about. Yeah. But I think that, you know, it, it, is, it, is, it is important. Because that's how you feel valued. Yes. But then, value first has to come from self. Oh, now. Now you've gone there. Now you've gone there. Now, you see, I don't know mm. how much I value myself because I don't care about anything to do with myself. It's mm. my wife that taught me. Right. So she, the birthday, oh. uh, sentiment, yeah. I am anti-sentiment. <laughs> yeah, right, it drains right. me, mm. it's unnecessary. Yeah. I don't want flowers on the table. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? I don't want, so my do birthday. Do you like cards? Do I, no. What? No. I'm right there. That's me. Cards. Don't buy me a card. Don't buy, buy me a card for. <laughs> what do I do with a card? What do you do with a card? I don't want a card. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, I don't even need a text message for my <laughs> brethren. I don't even need. Yeah. I don't even need that because he's my boy. He got me. Mm. And I can get. But, but sorry, can I, can I say this? this? This is the thing, though. Uh, um, she's changing me. Mm. Yeah. She's yeah. she's switching on things that didn't exist. Mm. Like, is he this shirt? Yeah. She bought me this shirt. All right. All right. If I dress myself today. Mm. She, I'd be a tramp, you understand? <laughs> because my wife buys my clothes because there's certain things in my head that's not switched on. Right. She's teaching me. <laughs> right. Okay. To, I'm glad you oh. recognise that. <laughs> I do public no, but in the time. No, but it's good. I it's do, it's, it's, it's it actually is. good for you to, yes. to, to acknowledge that because mm. I think a lot of men struggle with um, admitting that they're, they're, they're not perfect it's and that, that they, they ain't got yeah. it together. Right. Yeah, it's right. no. Yeah. Uh, you know, Mate, no, I, that's good. So I, I celebrate that. There is something even now. I don't really care about certain aspects of myself. Mm. When it has gone, this this oppositeness that we are, we are completely opposite. Mm. Is the best thing for me. But, is it, but isn't that what kind of completes you? Yep. I'm tapping the table. Okay. So. But, um, <laughs> Completion oh. isn't about somebody else though. Completion is about self first. Right, okay. Other person is an added bonus. Yes. Because can I just say that in terms of especially in marriage that they there's a lot of there well, there was a lot of harping on, oh he completes me. Right, right, right. Okay, I'm with you. I'm oh, with you. He okay. completes me. Right, you know, right. it's an absolute mm. lie. Because mm. then what happens is is that he can't live up to that expectation of what it is that you want right. and it all comes crashing down and then the woman is looking, you know what I mean, she's looking at herself and mm. wondering what's wrong with her and you know starting to hate herself wow, and it's, wow. you know and and you know and I and I can understand that do you know what I mean you know but um, <laughs> but for me I think you know I had to kind of learn actually I am a complete person you know mm. kids aside everything but, aside but you sounds it, it could sound scary what you're saying because it is if, scary if you got to admit it but but where I'm coming from <laughs> where I'm coming from is that and this goes into that topic of strong woman, yeah, which yeah. can scare a man because oh, yeah. I like oh, a little bit of that dependence. I like it. So don't get me wrong. I think that you're right in that we have to be very aware of ourselves, mm. come to terms with ourselves in many ways. But at the same time, we arrive together as couples broken 
without even realising yeah. it. Mm. And, broken and people. I, I, I could have gone to counselling. I think I'm just less broken. Right. Yeah. So I can you explain that again? For example, like um, when it and I came together, we've gone through a lot together, mm. and I think we're doing pretty well. Yeah. With the rocks, with mm. the yeah, yeah, yeah. Troughs, yeah, yeah, I think we're yeah. doing pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Um, because we're learning how to yeah. have arguments differently. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. we still argue. Yeah. 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 However, um, if I had to come to you because you're a counsellor, if I had to come to you for a year's worth of counselling, you broke me down and help me put myself back together. I'm going to come to Winita, I think, in, in, still incomplete, but less incomplete. Um, and, and I think that that is probably necessary for us to be great. Oh, to, absolutely. To great. Yeah, I just think that it's important for you to kind of heal yourself you know mm. come you know like just be at peace with you know things that have happened in the past or you know whatever and get to know yourself as a person that you are today mm. and 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 own that confidently especially with your partner yeah. no one's ever going to be perfect yeah, neither of you are ever going to be perfect yeah, yeah absolutely. and but it's about being able to you know, to appreciate the flaws, mm. you know, as well as wow. appreciate the good stuff. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And yes. working through, when you talked about having arguments differently, yeah. Will and Jada were talking about their marriage. And Will said that, you know, he, um, one thing that they've learned to do is to communicate differently. Yeah. So he knows that when, if she says something that he doesn't like, he needs to take a minute think about it, come back, and then he'll be in a better position to be able to kind of respond. And I know for me, that, that, that works for me, because if I argue and we're having mm. a dialogue, it can get real ugly real quick. <laughs> But, you know, you have to know yourself. <laughs> take why, yourself why out. Why are we laughing? It's a reality. Okay, it's a reality. It's a reality. Yeah. Yeah. It's a reality. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and but also be able to come back yeah. and own your stuff. Mm. Everybody needs to take a hundred percent responsibility yeah. of the argument. Not like okay, you did that bit, I did that bit. Because you know people are going to disagree in terms of how much blame they want to take. Take a hundred percent responsibility of yourself yeah. and what you brought in, and recognize and own what you did. Acknowledge it give feedback mm. and, and apologize. It's, it's actually okay, because nobody's wow. perfect. No, we're not trying to be perfect people out here. I know that's, you know, that's the lie that we've been fed and wow. we've all been trying to live up to this standard, mm. but it's not real. We just want to be ourselves, you know, and just be accepted for ourselves. Well, that was a deep topic right there. <laughs> it is. That's, that, that, I'm I mean, that, that to go is down. A, that's a, that, that you, you've now opened up a, a whole new <laughs> chapter. But yeah, definitely, definitely a big one. Um, that definitely worth exploring. I think personally, I mean, I'm showing um, that can be often deemed as a, as, a, as a sign of weakness. Yeah. And personally, my, uh, with my with my children, um, if I am in the wrong, I apologise. Yes. Absolutely. Um, I, how I relate to my son and how I relate to my daughters are very different. Because I need, I need my daughters to understand and realise how a man should deal with them. So that they have a standard and, they, and when they need to apply it, they have that model. Um, so, so, so I will, I, I will apologize, yeah. uh, but I will, I, will, I will apologize and explain the reason for my actions. Mm. Does it make it right? Hence why I apologize. And I don't use the word, I'm sorry, in vain, never. Mm. Um, and I'm like that with, 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 the, with the wife. <laughs> um, I'll never apologize unless I mean it, unless I've gone away, I've thought about my actions and I've come back mm. and then I can apologize. If you apologize off the whim, very often, you're not fully aware of what you're apologising for. Mm. Um, therefore, I encourage um, that you don't say, you don't use the word "I'm sorry" until you know what you're sorry for. And explain it. And explain mm. it. It's good to explain. 
But this yeah. is about communication though, isn't it? Yeah. You know? You know, you just hit the nail on the head of what I was gonna say. This lays a, uh, a framework for which you have your sexual relationship. Oh yeah, Absolutely. yeah. Oh yeah. Can I talk to my wife? Mm. Can I tell my wife, this is what I like, this is what I don't like. This is who I was. Yeah. This is where I've come from. Oh, wow. <laughs> can I tell her who I've been with? I have to explain that. Can I, can I, when I have an argument, am I mm. carrying that baggage of that argument yeah, into yeah. the bedroom and I'm not connecting, I'm trying to stay away. I'm talking to you about me. Yes. You know, this is who I was. Yes. Like, I'm trying to really be the best I can be. Mm. Mm. I'm really trying to be the best I can mm. be. Yeah. It's taken me years to get there. Sure. Mm. You know, and I'm sure. not going to speak about I speak about myself. Um, mm. We had a brother last week and he was talking about his marriage because his marriage failed. Mm. But the guy had gems for us and he was saying, I'm good at counselling people. I'm good at helping people see sense in their own life. Mm. And with that sense of maybe superiority, sure. I had that for me as well. I'm like, I can see clearly, I'm right. What's wrong with you? And mm. let me tell you, man, I have felt right mm. about so much yes. without realizing how that was, that's ignorance, right? Yeah, there, right? yeah. That was affecting us. Yes. On levels. It's also arrogance as well, <clears throat> isn't it? When you feel that, you know, it's, it's almost like a hierarchy, isn't it? You know, I'm right. You're, you're wrong. It's like that power. Yeah. It's that kind of power and control kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? You have to come off of that right. Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> everything will yeah, flop. The, the end, do you know what I mean? Yeah, you have end, to, end yeah. you know, everybody needs to, and this is why I always go back to, and I'm very much about this now. I think, I think my friends probably thought, I think everybody around me thought I was a bit crazy when I started to just be really open and really honest and really vulnerable. Mm. And the Freedom. most painful thing, it, it is so yeah, free. Yeah, yeah. There's no it's description yes. for, yes. you know, this yes. feeling of, I'm able to tell you how I feel. I'm, I'm very loving, I'm very tactile, and I'll tell you how I feel. Some people are like, <laughs> they're not there yet. Mm. Cool, it's all right. <laughs> Mm. It's all right. I'm not going to stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though yeah. I'm feeling murked, thinking, oh, you know what I mean? I've just really put myself out there. Oh, and it wasn't received. But I think actually the more yeah, the man. more you do it, yeah. the, the better you feel. There you go. I remember for my 40th birthday, um, I had like um, a dinner with like my like family and some close friends. And um, I made these um, favours Mm. And like um, there was a card on the favors, you know, with their name on it mm. personally. And I wrote a message to every person about why I love them. Wow. There was about twenty three. There was a lot. Mm. And I took my time cool. to think about my relationship with that person. It's a lot. Even if <laughs> you know. Wow. There were times when it was a bit mental or a bit, you yeah, know. Right, right. But I wrote, but I said, you know yeah, something? I'm yeah. going to, I chose to look at it from a positive. And I wrote, you know, quite long passages, you know, to people individually. Mm, mm. And, you know, people were like, where did you get all this from? And I'm saying, this is how I feel wow. about you. Yeah. You know, at funerals, oh, you know, they were such a wonderful person. Did you tell them when they were alive? Mm. Often it's like, yeah, 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 you did look good last week. Did you tell that person that they look good? <laughs> I will tell people, you're looking good, you're looking well, yeah, 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 right. you know, and it comes from a genuine place because mm. I now don't feel like I need to be perfect. Mm. I don't feel like I need to be right. I'm able to accept when I'm wrong, but I'm also able to be honest, yes. you know, and try and deliver it in a way that, you know what I mean, Yeah, yeah. is people can, can no 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 identify. it's genuine and authentic um you you, you, t you touched on mm. being transparent and and i think transparency is a very good um kind of trait to to practice i think um <coughs> if if you if you never show your true colors i.e your baggage i.e your past i.e the things you mm. used to do mm -hmm. and used to enjoy, 
Um, if you if you never share that, how real and genuine can your relationship be? Can't be. Even if those things will make you vulnerable. Even if. No, I'm, I, I want to say something when you're. No, I'm done. I think that. And I've learned this, and it's my solid view. Uh -huh. You're not going to change my mind on this. Right, yeah? right. If you're not naked on a regular basis yeah. with your partner, yeah, yeah, physically, yeah, and emotionally, yeah, that's right. With the lights on, uh huh, mm. day, or daylight, whichever one you want, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. um, you're not in a relationship. Mm. You're not in a relationship. Mm. If you can't walk around the house a certain way. Listen, stretch marks, big belly, small belly, yeah. whatever you want to call Regardless. it. Regardless. And just, that that's my man. I don't, he's never made me feel, if you can't do that, and, and, and that's, the sex is gone. I don't know what you're doing. Mm. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. what you mean yeah. by sex now. Right, right. Because we're not naked. We're not yeah. naked. Wow. It's so interesting because I cast my mind back to growing up again, um, where you know, my father slept on a sofa. That was kind of his permanent spot for a long time. Um, mum was in the room with, with the kids. That's a very, 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 very common picture today. Mm. No, it is. Mm. You know, mum um, and kids are in the room, dad's on the sofa. It's permanent, like, like that's just, that's it. Mm. Growing up seeing that, and I'm like, like, like why, why is he doing that? Like, and I'm like, you wouldn't ask though, would you? No, 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 you wouldn't. I'm like, <laughs> you just see you, it. You, you happy? <laughs> yeah. like, you happy with that setup? Yeah. Um, but again, yeah. that culture that was acceptable. Mm. Mm. Go on. It, it was deemed as acceptable. Okay. I'm going to say deemed something. Deemed as acceptable. Deemed as. Deemed as. But I guarantee you, the women mm. who were in those situations right. were not satisfied no, whatsoever. Because you know not. something, as a woman, you want to be desired. Mm. You want to be desired by your man. If your man is choosing to sleep elsewhere or he's choosing to live his life in some way that's, con you know, that's separate from yourself or, or whatever, mm. You, you 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 may be conditioned to wait yes what it is this is this is what it is yeah, right. but she's not happy mm. because and and it will play on her self esteem yeah. because yeah. massively for, for, you know how many stories can we can we hear of of our grandparents and parents where pure pasa pasa was going <laughs> on yeah, right. pure aunt house and pasa pasa was pure fussing and fighting I tell you what though, but mainly from the women, mm. all they wanted was for their man to just see them. Wow. See me. That's real. Wow. Just well, see us, us me. Men have just up, you know. see wow. me. And we men and men have got it twisted and think <laughs> that, angel. you know, oh, she's miserable or uh, whatever, whatever. Yeah, we'll be no, people. bruv, you need to go <laughs> look in the mirror at yourself. We've messed yeah. up. And yeah. work out where, what the hell went on. Yeah. Because actually, I need to be accountable. Because actually, you know what I mean? The way how a man treats a woman is based on how he feels about himself. Mm. Wow. Wow. I'm like looking at wow. you. May not be a, they, <laughs> may, they may not be awareness of it. Wow. No, but that is it. That's everybody though, isn't it? Yeah. We all do it. Ultimately. And this is why you have to be really intentional about how you treat people. Yeah. For me, and, and you know, that was, you know, that blew me out of the water when I kind of read it. I said, Ooh, what? <laughs> no, real talk. It's the truth though. It's the truth. You have to be. So yeah. that's why I had to make a conscious effort to get myself in order. Right. And when I say get myself in right. order, I had right. to look at who I am yeah, yeah, and yeah. start to really love and accept who I am because well, why, then why, I can why, give of it, my best why, why self. Why are you looking at loving yourself so much? Because that's where it starts and that's yeah. where it ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me to, for example, hypothetically, for me to be able to love you mm. Come on now. authentically yeah, yeah. and the way how you need to be loved, mm. I need to know first, love myself and know what it is that I want. Wow. Because then when I love me, the way how I love me with 
you know, passion and I love me and I know myself, then I'm going to love you with that same passion back. But not only that, I'm going to ask you, how do you like to be loved? Because you and I are different people. Do you understand what I mean? So you have to get to know, this is why communication yes. and understanding of your partner is important. Yeah. Because I want to know, how is it that you want to be loved? Sure. And sure. I will tell you how I want to be sure. loved. And I'm going to show you how I show love to myself by the way how I treat you. Mm. Mm -mm. Whoa. Oh, you went there. That's a clip. That's a <laughs> nice advert. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. You're, you're different fire so, so literally, <laughs> <laughs> because mm, I'm well, gonna go there. I'm well, gonna go there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you go there, how much battery? How much? Water, how much memory? We're good. How long? We're good. I got 15 minutes here, but we can reset that 15. No, but the the memory card, 16 gig memory card. Is it all right? Dude, both of them are full. I had to erase the 32 and put it in here. Okay, explain. Okay, is, it, is everything sorted? We're good. Yeah, bro, go on, see what you're saying. <laughs> right, so I'm going to go with it. Um, <laughs> I, I realised quite late in my life um, that my father um, was incapable of, of loving us. Mm -hmm. um, I also realised um, at the same time that my father was incapable of um, just he, loving himself mm. and, and, and because of that realisation I now no longer hold the way he treated us as a family us as, 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 as his children I don't no longer hold it hold it in my heart yeah. I get that. because when you realise and you can identify with why one an individual behaves a certain way, um, if if he doesn't love or she doesn't love themselves, then how can they how? love? How? So how? when you, you hit nerve, like it, 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 how are you gonna hold them up for that? They, they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. Yeah, they yeah, go. They, let's, they be, let's be fair. They, did they listen? They do uh, it. They give you what they what they have. That, that's right. what they And often oh. it's limited. Oh. Let's look at let's look at you know Steve. our families where we're from the Caribbean, right? right? My parents born in Jamaica mm. weren't raised by their parents. Yeah. yeah? Right you know, everybody here. has bitty bitty. Yeah. You know, you yeah. go and you ask many of our parents, grandparents, Standard. if they're still alive, what you because I'm very much about um mm. under, trying to understand attachment. I'm mm. very much on attachment. This is where all that high psychodynamic <laughs> stuff. Because that will help you to understand why is my parent, why mm. is he mm. what's a whatless? <laughs> Let's talk the truth. Let's talk the truth out wow. here. Why is my parent whatless and not feeding me and not giving me mm. and not attending to my needs? Mm. And I remember being angry with my dad for a very, very long yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Because Speak my it. dad didn't didn't love me and didn't and didn't he didn't treat me the way how I needed to be wow. treated and how I needed to We're be talking nurtured. We're talking about fundamental. This stuff is fundamental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Standard, special. No, this is just, because this then mm. this then filters out into all areas of your life, yeah. And some some people, you know, I could boy, I could talk for days on on, <laughs> on all of that. But you know, just to keep it brief, is that. Mm we can hold up that anger yeah. and be really that upset. Shape, that, that's your marriage right there. Yes, what? absolutely. Up of... And sometimes some people don't even recognize, oh, they, nah. you know, they just were, they were just a bit, you know, the they just weren't available. But they don't have any feelings, they're numb to any feelings. So where's the rage, where's the anger? There has to be something. There you go. So, something. but for me, I had to, when I started my counseling journey, I then had to release my dad. Mm. Had to release him and mm. say, do you know something? No, he didn't. He 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 messed up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah he didn't yeah. do the right yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. But I tell you what, I know that he loves me mm. with what he has yeah. because he didn't have. He didn't. He, he didn't understand. He didn't know. My dad All grew right. up around women. Mm. He didn't meet his dad until he was eleven yes. when he came here. You know, when my granddad worked, you know, in Birmingham, you know, came mm -hmm. back to London at weekend. My dad didn't know nothing about how to be a man. Well, well, apart from, 
you know, kind of keep providing, you know, yeah, 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 like yeah, even yeah, then, yeah, you know, yeah, there's some the more time. And, yeah. and they think that if they're doing that, then what's they're, your problem? That's what they call that. I'm doing my part. They quantify that as love, and it's not. Yeah. You understand? There's so much more. So much, it's so multi layered. And I had to release him. Mm. I said, you know something? I love my dad. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. my dad. My dad is 63. Mm. And. I can say now, as a 40-year-old woman, my dad tries, you know, I can see, I can see him now. As a woman, you want your man to just see you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I yeah. see my dad, I see him. When at my 40th birthday party, my dad was there. Wow. My dad said to me the next day, Kelly, I wanted to cry, you know, but when everybody was talking, <laughs> and, but me no, you know, but me have to stop because me no want to cry. <laughs> For me, I said, Dad, you didn't have to say anything more because yeah, yeah. I know my dad loves me yeah. with what he has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did fall short, yeah. but I had to release him. Yeah. And once you do that, you can actually see the world in a whole different light. So any man or anything that you've, you know, you might have had relationships with or whatever, mm. you can then see them differently yeah. and you can treat them differently. Yeah. Honestly, going forward, it's, it's like a bright light. Healing. Healing right there. Healing. Um, you, you know, and, and, and mm. this is it. This is what we're dealing with in, 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 in relationships, in, in, in most relationships. I want to say most. Uh, people who are broken. People who have, you know, you, you, been brought up in I, un, unideal circumstances. Um, who have this idea of what a relationship is. Um, but not realizing how far from the truth that is. How far from the truth that is. So what do you do? You try and recreate yeah. as best as you can mm. an ethic or, or, or an example yeah. of what you believe mm. is right. Mm. Um, but again, how you doing so, um, you have to be transparent. And, and, and with, my, with my children, yeah. I am intentionally transparent. So I tell, not only do I tell uh, Maria um, about my, my past. I used to be a player. Um, and at one point, I was so messed up that I enjoyed it. It felt good. You felt good to be a mess? It, it felt good to, to, just to go, and, and I reveled in it. I reveled He in didn't it. know that he was in a mess. He wouldn't have known that. Of course he didn't know. You, 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 you ain't gonna know. Everybody, anyone that's trying to tell you anything different, they're, they're yeah. the one that's crazy. Yeah. What are you talking about? You're, you're I reveled in it. Mm. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm a man. Mm. Yeah, I'm a man. Mm. Until you realise that, hold up, you're hurting people. You're, you're, you're breaking hearts. You're hurting people. Um, but it's through my marriage. And again, this is for another episode, but mm. you know, I'm, 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 I've got another revelation. Mm. But again, that's for another episode. Mm, mm, mm. It's through my marriage when I've realised the importance of giving. Yeah. I mean, selfless giving. Selfless, mm. bro. Selfless giving. It has to come from a genuine place. Because that's when mm. I am, I am showered with gifts. It's true. It's not giving to receiving, by the way. No, no, no. Because if you plan to give just to receive, forget about it. Forget it. <laughs> forget it. No, no, no. Forget it. There's no it. difference, really, is there? Forget, forget, forget about it. it. It's fake. It's false. It all collapse. But, but, but my mm. wife has shown me mm. that. <laughs> Show me that. In my incomplete. Listness. That is even a word. Mm. Um. She is able to work with me. Mm. I'm not complete. Mm. I'm, far from, I'm far from perfect. Mm. I know I'm, I'm aware of this. Mm. But we're both we're both not perfect. Yeah. And we both we both are in a place have been a place of orbit, and as a result of our relationship, have been forced into into a place whereby we appreciate each other and we value each other. And our, you know, and our flaws and our, uh, you know, our issues. Mm. We value each other and we kind of, we fuse and gel and we, we, we bring the best out of each other. And for me, that's what makes the relationship work. Mm. 
the marriage work. Marriages are tough. Mm. 10 years <laughs> hasn't been easy. Mm. I've been with her for 14 years, mm. but married for 10 hasn't been easy. And when I say that, I mean it hasn't been easy. <laughs> there has been peaks and troughs. Yeah. There have been moments where the former me has told me to bounce. Because mm. that's what I've always done, by the way. Mm. If I see, history. Yeah, come on now. If, if, I, if, if there's one, if I see one sign of, nah, I'm out. See you later. Where do you think that comes from? To be honest with you, yeah, it, it can only be a DNA thing. Do you think? Yeah. So you didn't, you didn't, reason, you didn't learn it. You didn't, what do you mean? To, to, of, to, of to wanting to leave. Yeah. You didn't learn that. I don't think I've, I can't even see it. Even though, even though my, my dad stayed there, he was mm. invalid, but he stayed there. Mm. But um, then he wasn't present. No, that's my point. And I'm, I'm with you, and I, and I can see where you're going. But to physically just leave constantly is not something I grew up seeing. So for me, it was just the norm. Mm. But again, where that came from... And I would say, the reason why I ask you is because, like I said, with some of my clients, what I, what I do is like a family tree. Mm. Mum and dad. Sure, sure. Depending on how far back you can go and what you know of your family history, mm. you can often plot Oh, really? significant wow. life events that have happened. Wow, wow, wow. So even though you then would, and the reason why I would question it and I would say, well, actually, maybe if you were to check back in, in your family history on, on mum's side and dad's side mm. and un try and see if you can understand the relationships that used to happen, like your grandparents, maybe your great grandparents, do you know if somebody left or whatever, yeah, you know, coming down. Sure. It could I mean, explain I mean, something. I mean, if I'm honest, there were episodes where, you know, dad would leave for a couple of years and come back. Um, you know, he would always leave and come back, um, you know, for long, for long spells. Um, maybe that has something to do with it. Um, but I suppose remaining committed is something I didn't grow up seeing. Mm. That committed relationship, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't grow up seeing. Um, so when I see, when I see other individuals and, um, who, who, who kind of explained that they grew up in a, in, a, in a setting whereby there was a relationship there. In my mind, I'm like, yeah, but how are you the way you are? <laughs> if you grew up with the perfect model, how, how, are, how are you not? Well, people have to make their choices still, isn't it? There you go. Mm. And choice. it is a choice. choice. It's a choice. Mm. Everyone as an individual has to choose um, to enter into that relationship and be, and be committed. Mm. And you're committed to your marriage? Yeah. Well, you mentioned that you would just bounce. Mm. But, we spoke yesterday. Yeah. Trying to get it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, mm. what's your attitude now? Well, I, I didn't get married. My decision to get married what wasn't made of a whim. Um, when I proposed to, to Maria, it was based on the fact that I realised, I think God helped me to realise that this woman wasn't ordinary. And I haven't, my mind hasn't been changed to this day. Yeah, no matter what's happened. No matter what's happened. Still believed it. No matter through our rough times, through our, you know, I mean the roller coasters. She was she wasn't ordinary. And when I made that commitment, um, I, had, I haven't wavered. Mm. Although there have been times where it's been tough, mm. I've always known and remained convicted by what it was that convinced me that she was the woman for me. Mm. Um, and I always say, you know, if you forget what attracted you to your partner, mm. that's a problem. Mm. Because whatever attracted you to your partner and 
fundamentally, if along that journey you kind of forget what that is, then you're kind of a bit lost, I think. She, physically, she blows my mind. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. However, that's not primary. Mm. The person she is is what I'm attracted to, mm. not her appearance. Yeah. And, 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 and I'll, I'll sit here today and say, look, if most men <laughs> um, who, who, who love their women are in love with the person they are, as opposed to how they dress, as opposed to so even even on their off days, yeah, they're yeah. still attractive. Headscarf, tracksuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even on their down days, it's, this, that, that doesn't mean now, you don't love them. You don't come in and say, "Oh my gosh, I'm going back out, sort <laughs> yeah, yeah, yourself yeah, yeah. out." Don't, <laughs> don't wake up without your makeup on. We don't, we don't care. Right, we don't care. Right, right, right. My wife looks beautiful sleeping. Mm. I mean, beautiful. Mm. And I think this is these are these are things. I'm just listening to it from a woman's point of view. These are the kind of things that, as women, that we we thrive on. We thrive on things like that, you know. Um, and obviously, you've you've gone through yeah. your, your your stuff in order to get to where you are yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm. you know, I guess that you know she's been present in the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know what I mean? And you know, I think when you come to a place of where you can start to really see each other mm. this is why i go back to yes. being able to see each yes. other yes. and part of being able to see each other is to be able to see yourself uh -huh. do you know what i mean mm. you, it, it, it brings about a whole new dimension to your relationship yeah. do you know what i mean yeah. because yeah you'll appreciate the flaws you know what i mean yeah. you know in terms of the things that drive you crazy mm. i know for me you know what i mean you know there are things that sometimes I find a little bit irritating. Do you know what I mean? But is it the primary thing? Is it necessary? Is it? Is it? You, you know what I mean? Whatever. We, you know. You go. We've got to go deeper. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got to go and, deeper than than do you know what I mean? Than <laughs> the, the things that you find annoying. Do you know what I mean? Because do you know what I mean? We nobody's perfect. You know. It's like it's like, it. it's like let me throw this out there, and I might get shot for this, <laughs> but I've taken a lot of bullets in my time. <laughs> but um, you know, Winnie is she can be late. She can be late. Mm. <laughs> right. <laughs> and she's late because she's trying to take care of everything. Mm. Um, mm. But I'm only looking at the clock. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. So, so I said to myself, let me help her. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And that, that shaves time off. It builds a relationship. It teaches me to be more selfless. It might sound like a small thing, mm. but I can tell you this. This is key yes. in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I have to be more selfless and conscious 100%. of the reality of the situation. She's trying to look after. Yes, yes. So I might as well just help out. Yeah, yeah, But that's yeah, the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you've gone, you've looked beyond the lateness and the looked at... Beyond the symptom. You yeah. look beyond the symptom and you're looking at the cause. Yeah. Mm. And... No, 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 let me move It's not that I don't help, you know. I'm not saying that. No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm just, that. I just want to say this for the camera still. <laughs> it's not that I don't help, I help. Mm. But it, it, she still tries to do everything. Yeah, 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 right. Um, because she cares, mm. but you're right, you're right. Mm. But it's the, the symptom is the lateness, but the heart behind. And so, of course. some of that stuff that we struggle with that is a frustration. Um, it is sometimes an act of love that you got to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. And, and so, it's a choice that you have yeah, to make. Yeah, this is going back to choice yeah, again. It's a, it goes back it's to a, choice. Yeah. You know, we can all kind of, you know give many you know descriptions of things that well they say things that grind your gears as they say <laughs> but um you know but if you look beyond it and you look at it differently so yeah. even like little arguments that you might have you know everybody can get caught up with the argument but that's actually not the thing yeah. let's try and go back True. and look at what what actually yeah. what drove it you know what i mean what's what's behind it you know and 
you know, depending on how you and how you operate and how you work, whether you are able to be aware very quickly and have, you know, those conversations, or sometimes it might take a little bit of time yeah. for you to then revisit the conversation again and say, well, boy, mm. you know. What's your number one advice when it comes to sex and intimacy? Um, sex and intimacy. Know yourself. Know yourself, love yourself, know what you like. Be honest, transparent. To build a deeper, to not to get your needs met, but for you to gain a deeper understanding of your partner and them have a deeper understanding of you. Yeah. Vulnerability transparency, choosing to, um, to look at the glass half full as opposed to half empty. Aspect. So, so being naked and being vulnerable shouldn't really come into play. Shouldn't really come into, shouldn't come into play. However, communication can help to break down those barriers. You know, it, we live in a society whereby you're just expected to just know. How are you going to know if you never ask? Mm. And how are you ever going to know if there isn't that transparency? How are you going to know if there isn't that kind of connection um, to actually achieve, you know, um, the appropriate level of intimacy? Mm. Um, and knowing ultimately what, coming back to, to you again Kelly, what works for you as an individual um, unless you know what you want it's true what they say no one else ain't gonna know so knowing who you are is key yeah. and identifying and being open and honest about who you are and what you want is the next phase. But you have to get past the ego. That, the pride, that is what hinders a lot of relationships. Mm. Oh, I ain't gonna say sorry. Mm. Cause I'm gonna look weak. No, 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 say sorry. Because you don't know how rewarding that will be in your relationship. And I think as individuals, we need to learn to stop seeing these um, issues as, 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 a, as, a, as a form of weakness, but it's actually a positive. It's a major positive. We just need to embrace that. Perfect. That's it.